All right, guys, in this video, I wanna share with you my sales results for the past eight days. Now, I've picked this eight-day period for a few reasons. Firstly, it's the first time I've had all three of my products in stock at the same time. And it's also a very good example of how passive Amazon FBA is. Now, I've had a very busy couple of weeks. You know, I've just completed on our new house, so I've been arranging renovation works to take place before I move in. And it's also the end of year for accounts for my other business, so I've been quite busy with that. And I've also been working on a side project with regards to Amazon FBA and YouTube, which I'll be announcing in the next few weeks. So during all this time of being very busy, I've also made some very good profit on Amazon FBA. So I wanted to share it with you guys to give you an idea of what can happen and the sort of results you can expect to see once you start to get a few products out there that are established, ranked, and then that passive income can kick in. So as the title suggests on the video, you know, made over 7,000 pounds of sales in the last eight days. However, sales is irrelevant, it's all about profit. So I'm gonna break that down for you on the next slide. So this is an overview of what happened. So we um, sold 445 units, over 405 orders, because some of um, some orders, people buy more than one of my product. Um, and the actual sales over that period were 7,349 pound. Now, you can see there at the very start, there was a big peak on that day. That was my best day ever, sold over 100 units that day. Um, but generally, at the moment, I'm selling 40, 50, 60 units per day on average. Or while well, I was until yesterday when another product has gone back out of stock. But you know, there we go. I can't complain too much when you're selling those type of figures. So, but what about the profit? This is the most important thing. So I'm gonna break this down for all three of my products. So product one, which is my long-term product, which I launched um, in September last year. This is a very reliable product now. It's well ranked and it's got good reviews. It had been out of stock for four weeks um, because over Christmas and January and February, sales were much higher than I expected. Um, because I use C shipping for this product, which is generally about a 12 week lead time, including manufacturing. So I went out of stock for about four weeks. So I did lose some ranks and it took about a week to get those ranks back. So I sold 93 units last week, which is a good, you know, it's an average week for that product. Uh, I make around about £9.21 uh, per sale. And PPC, which I spent during that period, as I was kind of relaunching that, you know, as it had only just come back in stock, I had to spend some PPC. So what you, what I had been doing with this um, this product during January and February, I hadn't been running any PPC and had been selling more without it. So in another week or two, I'll probably turn PPC off and there'll be no um, PPC cost to actually sell this um, product. So the remaining profit after PPC on this one was 616 pounds. So that's just one product alone in the eight days has made 616 pounds. So that, that was great. Um, product two, 69 units sold, the reason being that went out of stock for a couple of days, I've just got new stock arrived, um, but that was out of stock for two days, otherwise that would probably be in around the 80, 90 units as well. Profit margin again is around nine pound for that one, and PPC was a little bit lower because that one is getting it's pretty well ranked at the moment. It's not exactly where I want it to be, so PPC has been you know I've, I've throttled it back a bit, but I've still got it. I'm still keeping the PPC going until I get the ranks to exactly where I want it to be, and establish much more of a long-term sales history, and then I'll look to reduce it further or turn it off completely. Uh, remaining profit on that is five hundred pounds. So between those two products, eleven hundred pound profit in two days, and then product free which has kind of been my experimental product. And this is the low cost product that I've covered in the last couple of videos. This was launched in a very competitive niche. It's very hard to find a USP for this product. However, it's outperformed my expectations. So we sold 283 of those in the last eight days. And obviously the profit margin is only four pound per unit. It's actually higher now, I've increased my price and it's over five pound per unit. Uh, but for just kind of give a worst case scenario, four pound 21 is the profit margin I'm using for these figures. And PPC, as I mentioned, is in more competitive niche. So PPC costs have been higher. Um, but overall, that product alone made 914 pound. So if you add all three of those products up over the eight days, that's over 2000 pound of profit when honestly the amount of work I put into Amazon FBA over the last eight days is probably less than two hours. You know, it's checking sales in the morning, uh, responding to any messages if there have been any, and just keeping an eye out for any negative reviews. So there's been very little work, 2,000 pound of profit. I mean, if you break that down, that's 250 pound a day um, for not doing much at all. So it shows how passive Amazon can become once you get products launched, established, and ranked. And the profit margin on that is roughly 27%. So I always try to kind of aim for 30%, but rarely will it actually be 30%, because once you take into account costs, returns, stuff like that, 27%, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of how my Amazon FBA journey is going. I've got products four and five ready to go. The only reason I can't order those yet is just purely cash flow. I mean, these three are selling so well, I'm constantly reordering stock. So every all the money, I still haven't actually withdrawn any money um, to pay myself personally. It's all just being reinvested in the business so I can grow it as quickly as possible. 
Um, so let me know what you think of these figures in the comments below. Also, um, by the time this video goes live later today, hopefully, if we're not there yet, um, we're gonna be hitting the 1,000 subscriber mark. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. And if you guys have got any ideas for how we can celebrate the 1,000 sub mark, if you've got any ideas for the next video, let me know in the comments below.